Okay, for organizations that are evaluated in Kubernetes, we wanted to highlight a couple pillars here that we think are, are really key, key criterion to consider uh, when evaluating solutions. And you know, the first is, is open source lines. You know, Kubernetes is, is an open source solution and it's exemplary of, of the, the, uh, the speed and the, the quality and the, the, so many of the benefits that open source brings. And, um, and so it's important as you look at your solution uh, that the design and architecture and the vision of the, of the solution is to, to really maximize all of the benefits of that open source alignment brings. And uh, next is, is consistency across clouds. Uh, so if you have, um, you know, while Kubernetes provides a level of abstraction, if you're providing Kubernetes services, you have to ma manage those Kubernetes uh, services. And um, if you're working with different offerings, let's say if you go to, to multiple different cloud providers and you're working with each of their own infrastructure, each of them have completely different tooling uh, to be able to administer the Kubernetes environments. And, and so you have to consider is like the, the skill sets and the quantity of people that need, that need to be trained in you know, solution one, cloud provider one, um, et cetera, uh, because you know, while, while again, deploying applications um, from, from that application deployment standpoint on top of Kubernetes, it becomes this very consistent layer. But from underneath Kubernetes, right, it gets deployed onto various different infrastructure solutions and every, um, from, from the initial ensuring it gets installed correctly, uh, there's unique elements uh, that need to be integrated and in even in the in initial installation for every different environment that you install it on top of. So um, having a solution that is able to provide that very consistent operations uh, for, for your operational support staff, really a, a critical capability. I think one of the most important as well here on the right is developer self-service. You know, one of the largest challenges that IT departments and organizations have faced over the past several years is, uh, is this, bit, this difference between um, you know, the, ability, the, the rise of the cloud provider and the ability for developers just to be able to go and click a button and say, hey, I got everything I needed. If I go to IT, um, you know, I have to open a trouble ticket and wait and, and um, you know, depending on, on various policy restrictions that I could potentially circumvent uh, and things like that, that have really, you know, pushed a lot of developers to try to work around IT. Um, and uh, and so really uh, with, with times that we're trying to bring solutions to IT, really powerful solutions to solve this problem and to allow IT to, to have the management consistency that they need uh, to be able to have the governance and the policy and the visibility that they need while still freeing developers to, to have a robust um, um, user experience and, and have agility that they need to, to get access to the resources they want, have the automated provisioning, have a simplified uh, and an optimal user experience. Okay, let's look at the first pillar here for open source alignment. As uh, noted earlier, um, you know, Kubernetes is, is, is the core component in what you need to actually run uh, Kubernetes uh, in production. It relies on a number of external and third party and open source services uh, to be able to fulfill core capabilities within the platform. And so VMware is uh, among the leading contributors to Kubernetes. We employ uh, uh, two out of the three uh, founders and creators of Kubernetes uh, here. And uh, our vision for the Tonsu solution is to continue to stay um, in, in a lockstep alignment with the open source. And, uh, and that includes, as we look to how we'll fulfill the additional services that are required for Kubernetes, things like we need an authentication solutions and monitoring, et cetera, um, you know, we look to open source components to do so, uh, but in a way where, where um, they're, they're integrated, their lifecycle management, so uh, uh, Tanzu customers can still experience you know, very simple installation, upgrades, et cetera, uh, lifecycle management, troubleshooting, everything's integrated uh, by VMware into a common uh, manageable solution. Right? But we leverage open source components uh, to do so. So from DEC, authentication with DEX, monitoring with Prometheus and Defana, Grafana, um, cluster API, which is you know, part of the, the, a working group uh, project within uh, Kubernetes itself that we've really helped to drive as we built these lifecycle management, um, led the industry in, in building lifecycle management capabilities uh, in, in our solution. Um, likewise, we have several notable um, open source projects that uh, VMware had spearheaded, such as Contour and Harbor, um, just kind of demonstrating our commitment to open source and, and our architecture and, uh, and, and how we fulfill the, the, the uh, Kubernetes services. Okay, let's dive deeper into the second pillar, consistent operation across clusters and clouds. Now, uh, a key challenge for most organizations today is, is this need to 
to uh, be able to provide solutions to different development teams and development projects um, to, to use services from different cloud providers and have multi-cloud high availability. <clears throat> um, it's a big struggle for most IT departments and it's a key goal um, and benefit of the Tanzu solution to be able to deploy a consistent Kubernetes footprint across these different cloud providers and then have a, that globally centralized management that can, that can work across um, you know, really any, any Kubernetes deployment uh, that's conformant across any infrastructure provider and to be able to provide that centralized management visibility um, ability to, to, to centrally control access and auth uh, authorization uh, and policy conformance, etc. Um, included with the, uh, the, the Tanzu standard portfolio. Now, looking a little closer at the third pillar, developer self-service self access to resources. Um, again, you know, it's been an incredible challenge for IT departments to be able, to, with, with traditional technologies, to be able to uh, provision fully automated on-demand services. And so Tanzu solutions are optimized uh, to provide you know, this familiar um, interface and, and um, usability for IT operators, along with, with uh, robust policy controls uh, and regulatory compliance assets, et cetera, that they need to govern the assets uh, for the requirements of the enterprise at the same time being able to provide that really elegant self-service uh, uh, experience for the developer.